welcome back everybody to the Bears Profit Plays YouTube channel. If you enjoyed the content in this video, be sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel below. Let's get into the video. All right, guys, let's break down some NBA games for Thursday, January 19th slate of games. Let's check out the leaderboard real quick first. Uh, Trey, start us off. Yes, I am currently zero for zero because my team is currently playing. I need the Thunder to beat the Pacers by minus three and a half, so a four-point win. Currently up 10. They were dominating them in the first quarter up by more than 20 very early. Blew the lead a little bit. But I have confidence in this young Thunder team to pull it off. Yeah, and I have the Lakers tonight uh, versus the Kings. I have not started. I have the over in that game of 244. A massive line, but I think they can both get there. Uh, both teams are in the top seven in the NBA in scoring. Kings at one and Lakers at seven. So that game is pending. Keats? I have the Hawks and Mavericks over, so my game is also pending. So we're all kind of just waiting for everything to wrap up. Currently, I think the number was 232 and a half, and they're currently at 145. So, I mean, definitely turning in the right direction. It might come pretty close. It might be a little sweaty towards the end, but I've got faith. Yeah, that's early in the second half. So that one, that one's looking good. But uh, let's get into tonight's picks. Trey, start us off. Yeah, you guys might know where I'm going if you read my plays at bearsprofitplays.com. You guys might know that I am a self-proclaimed Raptors lover. I love riding the Toronto Raptors. It looks like they don't have their line out yet. Only got one line out so far. Um, but ESPN has it at Raptors minus two and a half. I'm going to go Raptors money line in this game. Uh, the juice should be around somewhere like minus 125, minus 130. And I feel confident in that. I mean, I rode the Raptors the past two weeks and they've really been, you know, cashing me pretty much every game. And I rode the T-Wolves early this season and it, it very much cost me. I had very high expectations for this team and they're still trying to find their rhythm minus Cat. I mean, Gobert stepped up a little bit. d I think the team kind of just wants to jump d and just beat him up, honestly, at this point. I think by the tread deadline, uh, he will not be on that team anymore. So give me Raptors here in a big road win against the T-Wolves uh, in kind of a measuring stick game for the Eastern versus Western Conference teams. Yeah, Trey, uh, I'm going to go with uh, Golden State Warriors plus five on the road versus the Celtics. And I was looking at this game and noticed the Warriors are really struggling to get back on track. Uh, they are healthy now. The Warriors are trying to get a grip on the season. They have wins at Washington, at San Antonio, but lost to Chicago without DeMar and two really bad losses against the Magic and the Suns. Uh, the Suns didn't have Paul Booker or eight in that game. Those are the last five games. The Celtics, on the other hand, have won five in a row, but their opponents have been Hornets twice, a bottom league te te caliber team, and Nets without KD, Pelicans without Zion or Ingram. And then they played Chicago. Uh, they didn't cover the spread in that one. So this, this is the best team either team has played in a while. Uh, Brown is questionable. Clay is questionable. Stats-wise, these teams are neck and neck, both top five offenses. Warriors scoring 117 a game, Celtics 118. Uh, Celtics have the better defense, but this is going to be a close game throughout. Both teams feel when healthy, they can win a championship this year. Uh, and this might be the first preview of the NBA championship series. Celtics from the East, Warriors from the West. I know Warriors are a 500 team, but we can't forget when healthy, this team is really dangerous. So I'm going to take the five points with the Warriors in this game. Uh, it should be a fun watch. Teets? You know, as a Celtics fan, it hurts to hear someone go against them, but I, I definitely understand it. You know, going going against a team that can't typically cover the spread, so I can't be too upset about it. I am looking at the Chicago Detroit game, and I am definitely going with Chicago minus seven. Uh, if I can, maybe whenever the games actually come up on the day, I'll probably end up taking the minus six and a half if that line doesn't actually sit at that, because uh, we don't do ties here; we just do wins or losses. Uh, so, you know, Jalen Duran, he's still out. Nerlens Noel is questionable for the Pistons. Uh, and the Chicago Bulls really don't have anyone too important that seems to be uh, out with a lingering issue. Uh, both teams are honestly, in a weird way, kind of equal in the sense of the Bulls are scoring 114 a game. Detroit's 112. Bulls are giving up 115. Detroit's 119 a game. Both can kind of, you know, compete with each other. So this is a really weird line, honestly. Um, I did want to do a little bit more dive deep into the stats just to see, you know, when the Pistons lose, when the Pistons win, Bulls lose, win. How, how does that look out? Uh, the Pistons' average loss over their last five games that they've lost is by 14.8 points. So they're losing by double digits in almost every game they lose. Uh, whereas when they win, their average is about 11.8. So they're literally either blowing teams out a little bit or getting blown out. Uh, the Bulls, on the other hand, 
Their average loss is about 7.4. Their average win is 11. So they're a little bit better poised team. They're a little bit better structured team. Uh, the Bulls definitely have the bigger names compared to the Pistons. And when you have Jalen Duran and Nerlens Noel out, you don't have a lot of height for the Pistons. And I think that uh, I think that the Bulls can take advantage of that. So I think the Bulls minus seven is a pretty safe pick here. All right, that's three more players for tomorrow night, and that'll do it for our NBA picks and predictions for January 19th slate of games. If you guys enjoyed the content, please be sure to drop a like on this video and subscribe to the channel below. We'll see you guys next video, and thanks for watching. Just want to let everyone know that while we do give out free picks, plays, and predictions on our YouTube channel, we also have a website for you to check out. On our website, bearsprofitplays.com, you can subscribe to the website absolutely free with an email and gain access to our written articles about upcoming sporting events. If you're really looking to make some cash, we have an option to become a member of our website. If you become a member, you will gain access to our Locks of the Week, which are written articles that go in-depth as to why we are picking that particular outcome. As of now, our member plays have been red hot, hitting over 60% of our plays. If you don't want to become a member, it's no sweat. We are here to try and make you guys some money. That's our main goal. So come on over to bearsprofitplays.com and subscribe for free. Check us out, follow our free picks, and see for yourself that our member plays are a great investment for you. Thanks for watching.